Yo, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna be very quick. First and foremost, if you're here and you're the type that like to watch game playthroughs in, in a let's play capacity, aka there's no webcam, there's no commentary, it's just gameplay, I'll get to that. As soon as I'm done with this intro, it's mainly that. I like to kind of make mine a little bit of a hybrid. So for large chunks, it's just let's play. There's no video, there's no webcam, no commentary. But I have a lot of people who tell me that they actually do like the way I react to things. They do want to hear my opinion. Sometimes I can say some funny stuff. So I'm going to try to, it's a little bit of a hybrid. Long story short, I don't feel like paying 200 some dollars for a nice video editing program. And the one that I do have access to, it only exports videos at 30 frames per second in 2024 30 fps no good so i call this sweeping through weeping this is going to be a part of a series of elden ring videos that i'm doing to uh basically compile the various elden ring videos i have some on my youtube i have some on my playstation's hard drive i have some on my computer so i'm just trying to get them all compiled make them into nice little videos so i can have them on my youtube delete them on other places and have them all compartmentalized so i'm genuinely just trying to hey there's a giant castle and i'm trying to make my way there literally nothing else about it except that and then as you'll see i get whoa like all of a sudden it's like what the is that i truly and it's so brilliant the fog and the mist and the rain adds that extra ambiance and atmosphere to where if you're blind, you truly, you, if you're going into this blind and you, tr I'm like, I'm sitting there like, is that a 10 foot crossbow bolt? I've truly no idea what that is. We'll go full screen here. Boom. Um, I have no idea what it is. And even right now, if you're looking and you know what to look for, it's still tough to see what is shooting these giant arrows. Um, now granted, if somebody had gone to Caleb first, they would have experienced what is shooting at me um, already because there are two of them in a certain like ravine in Kaled. I had not gone to Kaled yet. So completely blind. I have no idea what is shooting at me. And again, the fog makes it even more brilliant because you genuinely can't see what it is. Is it a ballista? Is it an archer? Is it a catapult? Why I don't get the map fragment while I'm there, I have no idea looking back. Probably because I'm pooing myself and I have no idea what's shooting at me. But anyways, I'll shut up, let the video talk. If you, I have no idea what's shooting at me. I'm still fairly new in the game. If you look at the top left, health bar, it's not, my health bar isn't that great. My, I don't even have the little first rune thing that you get. Like I think they're called great runes. It has been two years since I played this game. But I, yeah, I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. I, I'm poop, spooked and pooped. So I, I'm like, okay, maybe if I go around instead of down the main path, I can get a better view of what's shooting. But as you can tell, you still can't really see. Now, it begs the question, if somebody experiences this area for the first time with different weather, will they be able to see? Or is the game designed to always have this weather the first time you come here to kind of uh, to try to kind of mask or hide what's shooting. I don't know. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me, like, when you first approached this castle, was this a similar experience? Was it foggy, misty, rainy? Could you see what was shooting at you, etc.? Um, so anyways, I'm like, I don't know what the hell is shooting at me. Let me go around and try to get a better view. You sort of see its silhouette. Oh, you can see it now, and if you know what's shooting, you can 100% see. But at the time, I'm like, dude, what? And the moment I get hit there, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'll come back to this castle. One thing I like to do in games, especially open world ones, is I like to do what I call painting the edges. So I'll kind of, as you can see, I'm, walk I'm, I'm walking to the edge of where the map will let me go. To the very edge i look down and i see a ravine okay we'll go there later but i call it painting the edges i try to go to the perimeters of the map and try to like edge it not like that giggity and then that way i kind of know where my bounds are my perimeter see how i cut there deliberately because i just stood there staring at that tower for a little bit this dude trying to ambush me rude 
Um, but yeah. Yeah, as you can see, I don't have the map fragment for the Weeping Peninsula. Wish I would have grabbed it while I was standing next to that totem in that moment, but it's all good. It does lend itself to this cool discovery I have in a minute. Elden Ring veterans will know that I'm near a POI, more like a mini POI called the Alien Village, I believe. And so not only do I love how this game will have little icons on the map for even the smaller, more subtle POIs like this one, right? Um, right, you can see it. Hold on. Nice horse ride. So cool. Them doing like a freaking cult, a flame cult ritual seance. Very spooky. rats with rabies okay so what i love is how you see how it has its own little icon the ailing village and not only do i love how they give icons to the more subtle pois as i just mentioned a minute ago but it's cool how it even shows up even if you haven't gotten that area's map fragment yet So we get this lost grace. Another reason I like to paint the edges like I do is I, in open world games, I really love to get some of the fast travel nodes or term, what a view, by the way, what a view that is. Um, and then this is immediately picking up right after. You'll notice that, you know, I, I get that uh, lost grace, that campfire right there. And then this is right by it. Also in the Weeping Peninsula. I'm going to truly just let this one go. I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to say anything. I, all I want to do is um, preemptively say, for those who are familiar with the other side of the Weeping Peninsula, one cool thing is, just like with the thing that was shooting those arrows at me, the thing that I'm about to experience that is, like, notable, like, what the hell is that? There are multiple of them in the game. There's even one area later in, I think, La Ernia or the Atlas Plateau, one of them, where there are two of them essentially next to each other, like on different little ones on a hill, ones in like a little pond area right next to each other. But I hadn't experienced any of them, have never seen them. So when I turn the corner, you can literally see the moment where I'm like grabbing loot, do, 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 do. And all of a sudden in my peripheral, I see this. I'm like, I, I, I literally vividly remember it where I, in my mind I go, is that a castle on legs? Is that is that a walking castle? And my organic reaction was, what kind of shadow of the Colossus is this? And it's so dope. What it, For those who are aware, you're going to be like, oh, he's talking about the walking mausoleum. That's all I'll say. For those who are unfamiliar, walking mausoleum. Something to look forward to 
here in a minute. It's so dope. Again, I'm just like, doo, doo, loo, loo. ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Is that a castle on legs? And I and we begin. And like I said, I know that this is all scuffed. I'm showing a YouTube video on a YouTube, but the reason, why is this lit up blue like that? Anyways, is this, I just think it would preserve more of the fidelity, more of the frames by doing it this way than using a, a editing software program. Speaking of which, also, the video editing program that I had been using was ClipChamp, the one that comes packaged with Windows or you know Microsoft computers. And it's whack because even if you paid for the like membership for it, it still does not export at 60 frames per second. Anyways, enjoy. This is me kind of, as I said, sweeping the weeping. This won't include me doing any major fights. This won't uh, show me uh, resolving the walking mausoleum, but it's the best video I have of me first experiencing the Weeping Peninsula. Enjoy.
Rico chiming in here. Current Creed, current Creed, chiming in. One, so one thing I actually like about this format, I know it's unorthodox and it's probably not gonna work. I probably won't get views, but keep in mind, I've only ever really recorded this stuff and made videos like this for myself for the most part because I love having the ability to, after I play a game, beat a game, six months down the road, a year, two years, three years, whenever, I can go back and I have these videos to just kind of uh, watch and like recap, see what happened, see my experience, you know? Sometimes it makes it so where when I feel like I want to replay a game but I don't really have the time, I can kind of, uh, you know, quench that thirst with this. And then of course other times I come in here and watch some old videos and it makes me want to play the game again more. But yeah, it's just cool to go back. Like I like how right now I'm using the Wolverine claws. I used a whole bunch of different weapons. They're like Moonblade, Swords, one, I think it's called. These claws. I always incorporated magic. But I made sure to like one thing I tried to do was for every main boss in particular, like if it had a name health bar at the bottom I tried to make sure I finish them with melee um, just to show that I'm like you know I'm not just gonna stand 40 feet away and just chunk spells I might chunk spells for half the fight but you I, at the end I'm gonna go in there and get my knuckles dirty and in a lot of fights I didn't use summons some I definitely did I, those octopus tentacle claw things, oh, they're my least favorite monster in the game. I hate their design, they're so gross. The little, like, ballas on their sides, the little succubus mouth. Oh, uh, it's like a muddy, tangela, tangela, whatever the Pokemon's called. Uh, a muddy, tangela, Sarlacc hit, speaker. So this would be my first time approaching this beach ever. And it was really cool. Uh, one of my buddies, we even talked about it later. I was like talking about where I was at. I was like, oh, you're, you're near a walking dead beach. I was like, that's a great way to put it. Also, how sad, I, even if you don't like magic, man, it is so satisfying to hit five dudes with one glenstone arc. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Got me. Gobbing on me. So satisfying. Lining them up so you can go, the juice, the juice. So much fun. I was close. And that's basically it. I then, you know, kill some more. I keep, as I say, paint. I paint the edge. I walk the like length of the beat. I kill all these guys. That's a great photo opportunity. Old ruin. I've always said if they, it would be kind of cool said from the jump if we can eventually get a prequel where it's when whatever civilization would have built you know those aqueducts and the bridges and stuff like that it's when they were still thriving and they're still all intact now it also would be you wouldn't be able to have as many cool like monsters because there wouldn't be as much you know like wilderness so to speak 
but I guess you could just replace them with kind of named, you know, like the general of the army would be one of the main bosses, and then the lieutenants and things like that. Kind of um, Sakura-esque. That walking mausoleum is so cool. Yeah, and then talk to this merchant for the first time, get the Lost Grace. Well, there's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help? How can I help here at the end of the earth? Sorry. There's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? That does it for this video. We're sweeping the weeping. I don't know if I'm going to call it part one because I don't have another video I, where, I, but I have stuff where I like individually maybe beat the one beat. The Wandering Mausoleum and beat the lion spawn that's the boss at the end of the castle, which was a hard fight. Um, especially for my my play style, because he was just getting up in my wheelhouse. Have a good day. Hope you enjoyed my recap of when I first went through the Weeping Peninsula and Elden Ring in 2022.